iceberg. I told you. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. I'm selling dope and I don't want to quit. Now listen to the bar room. All bars all day. Exclusive, exclusive. This is an iceberg production. It's Battle Rap Tuesday. Hey. The so bar room. What? All bars yes. all day. Yeah, I switched it up on y'all, but it's all again, good. Again. Y'all know how we I get down. Yes. Keep going with the flow yeah. And once again, it is Battle Rap Tuesdays, where every Tuesday we talk about battle rap, underground rap, and current rap events in our culture. You know yes, yes, and absolutely, per usual, artists. Yeah. If you would like your music videos aired or your music added to the Barroom Spotify playlist, please send us an email at thebarroomgroup at gmail.com. Y'all already know what time it is, man. We stay drinking and we stay thinking about a master plan. I'm I mean, that's a fact. Like, we literally are pinky in the brain. Yeah. Can y'all figure out which one is which? And, you know, that's a question. That's going to be a funny one for the bar room. Can you oh, no. Nah, okay, hold on. I got, which one is it then? Hold on. I want to know this. Are you ready? Who am I? Am so, I okay, so Chris wants to take over the world. Absolutely. Oh. So he's brain. No. <laughs> He is, and I'm the goofy one, so I'm That's always just fact. silly. He's That's mad at fact. me all the time because he's like, you're being silly. It's not funny. And I'm right. like, yes, it is. We got, a, we got time <laughs> yep, for this. Yep. And then when he wants to be funny, I'm like, it's, it's not time funny. time to take over the world. Yeah, so it is. It is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here you go. Yo. <laughs> With that being said, man, today we got a lot to talk about. You know, somebody, and when I say a lot to talk about, we only really got two or three major subjects, but it's so deep. Each subject is is deep. You know yes, what I'm saying? Does. Hopefully, we're gonna go back over this MOOC versus read. Oh, we definitely got y'all. I got that. y'all know I'm little to me. Real. I'm wrong. I did my research. Yeah. I had the opportunity to do my research. Yo, honestly, it's a rainy day in Dallas, yeah, Texas, and I think it's going to be a rainy day for some of these battle rappers coming up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since you want to talk about Mook versus Reed, we're going to put two shots on there. We're we, we, we going to talk oh, about that. Oh, we're going we to put two. Up, you know what I'm saying? We're going to up the ante. You know what I'm oh, saying? Summer oh. Madness 11 definitely going down in Houston, Texas. We will be in the building as long as people ain't got COVID. Um, <laughs> right, we are keeping a close <laughs> right. on that. Got to keep a close. Uh, this <laughs> her shit shutting down, y'all. So, uh, yeah, you, you got to watch it. Okay. We'll you know, if you got your tickets. Make sure you got your refund ready. Be I mean, careful. Yeah, tell Smack, get your refund get, oh, ready get just in case. Your and shake. You yeah. never know. <laughs> Shit, you never know. <laughs> never so, know. Um, man, the conversation, we got to have it. <laughs> we got to have it. But first, Cassidy responds to Tory Lanez, man. Is this getting out of control or what? You know, once I heard he responded, my next question was, well, if Tory responds, have we gone too far? Right. So, I don't know. I mean, is this real beef or is it real beef? Man, uh, honestly, I think it's it. I don't think Tori is gonna respond. I don't either. because it, it, I don't think it's real beef. I, I think honestly, it's 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 rap beef, but it can turn real because I feel like now with this latest diss track, mm -hmm. uh, Cassidy, he, he you know he said some things, kind of like with the uh, Mickey Fax and the Royce the Five Nine, right. Royce was thinking this is a war of words. It's, Who's the best with the words with the pen? You know, we're going to say some, maybe some cringeworthy shit, but we ain't going to take it too far. Right. And, uh, you know, and Mickey, you know, he took it there. So, um, this, I think, may be the same case, because uh, Tori was talking to shit, except these two brothers don't really know each other like that. You right. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, could, it could turn bad. It's odd. Yeah. It's an odd one. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know if I like it anymore, because, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, Are Cassidy's track is good, but it's not like... It doesn't have replay value for me. So you know, you're no longer entertained. Well, yeah, I'm not entertained no more. Now I'm like, okay, somebody gonna start throwing hands. Right. Because once the true. entertainment out the door, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where is it going? You yeah, where is it going? I hear, so I, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that the uh, track was bad. He had a lot of good punchlines and stuff. But y'all know Cassidy. He's sticking to the science. So it's not letting nothing you could bang in the car in this era. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Absolutely. It's something more. So you like you heard, it. and it's like eight, seven minutes, eight minutes long. So it's like, right. bro, I ain't gonna go through that again. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It gotta be, it gotta be something that's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we coming with these type of responses. We good. You done put us twice. For real. <laughs> now, I aside feel. from Cassidy and uh, Tory Lanez, mm -hmm. 
What's going down? Something big is going down in Texas. And I, I you know, I, I'll be a fool not to even, you know what I'm saying, preview it for the people before we go to our first break. Austin, Texas is going down. The Culture Battle League. Yes. Mega event. Capital punishment. You know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes. This card is so lit. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But first, let's get into our first rap video. Baby Blue, who we got? Oh, we have Chicken and Hot Sauce by La Spooky featuring Lil Z. I mean, Latouz. Yeah, you do that shit every time. Latouz, <laughs> Latouz gonna be like, I mean, but he say that too. He said, he said in the in the raps too. He be like Tuzi. Tuzi. Yeah, 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 he be saying that shit sometimes. Makes so. sense. Salute you know to him, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into Let's it. Let's get it. This side. Good evening. I'm Michael Martinson. And I'm Joanna Johnson. We're here to bring you breaking news. A virus is spreading through the country and is turning wholesome young women into psycho thoughts? I don't know if I read that right. You're reading that right. It seems that they're particularly attracted to virgins. Spooky. We've scared. obtained footage of just how the virus has taken control. Viewer discretion is advised. You better get your mans, I don't like how he looking Cause I said it off in this bitch like boots I sent the little nigga on a mission to put in his work And the little nigga turned to a cooch All niggas hang cause I be in my bag And plus I'm a young fly nigga like Luch I like light skin but I love me some chocolate I play with the peas and I double my profit I need me a boss bitch that's gonna be in her bag But she gotta have her ass like root This two shit really be getting too raw Like some uncooked meat or some uncooked sushi And why everybody wanna talk about me to everybody But nobody wanna say it to twos These little niggas out here just lost They really don't know what the fuck they doing Still eat sounds, still eat hot dogs I'm on that bread like Chicken and hot sauce. These rap niggas is little and knockoffs. I'm at the stoop and go make a drop off. Yeah, I'm still fucking these hoes my socks off. Yeah, I'm still humble but ready to pop off. No time to play like I'm turning the clock off. After they walk them down, then they gon' walk off. Niggas be thinking this baseball running and hiding and thinking they finna be safe. It ain't hard to catch me. You just throw a bitch in they face and these niggas gon' go for the bait. I might take a trip out to Cali and come back to Dallas and double up all of my cake. And I took a trip to my heart. I ain't find no love, but I sure did find me some hate. All the young niggas that look up the twos, they don't be like me, boy. You gotta be better. My nigga pissed off, say he looking for a nigga. So fuck. We finna go find them together I don't give a fuck about none of the shit that you did Cause I promise this shit for whoever My bitch caught me cheating when shit I could tell her But once you go left then it's fuck you for hell If you knew what I knew you'd think I'm crazy If you seen what I saw you will know what made I do what I do and I make niggas hate My white bitch slim so I call her shade I made over hundred some plays like Bray Spinning this shit make it back on the day I still be buying my drawers for me. Keep my nine by kind of my big on the safe Let's get this shit clear I don't fuck with no ropes Got love for my team like a nigga was coach Now I get his ass gone keep laughing no joking This bitch run my nut in her skin like some lotion My name ain't Bradley I keep big bills and all of my niggas gon' shoot like the wizards. I had a big heart, now my shit like a blizzard. Put my dick on her nose, now she looking like squid. With me and these rap niggas don't get along. I'm right through the hood while I'm writing this song. I'm not trying to love you, I'm just trying to bone. I'm not from this earth, I'm going back home. There's a whole lot of weird ass shit going on. These unknown numbers keep calling my phone. Only touchdown plays like Julio Jones. And I cash out, I don't do no loans. Still eat sandwiches, still eat hot dogs. I'm on that bread like chicken and hot sauce. These rap niggas is little to knockoffs. I'm at the stoop and go make a drop off. Yeah, I'm still fucking these hoes with my socks off. Yeah, I'm still humble but ready to pop off. No time to Play like I'm turning the clock off After they walk them down Then they gon' walk off I do worry about the safety of my family And I hope that Joanna Joanna Shit Hey, y'all know what time it is, man Little twos, little two Z's have you want to say it, you know what I'm talking about? Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? Another uh, artist coming out of Dallas, Fort Worth area, you know what I'm saying? Doing his number, so definitely salute to him. We always going to show the love, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to Dallas, Texas as a whole, the yeah, South, totally. we going to represent how we post to every time, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, with that being said, um, the biggest topic in battle rap right now, like, like you can't miss this topic. Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. Yes. So much history behind this. Yes. I like what Jay Black said. Do your fucking research. Man. Excuse my language, but he didn't say it like do that. But do it. your research. You know what I'm talking about? Do it. And, uh, it's going down. Summer Madness 11 in front of at least 2,000 people. Absolutely. Houston, Texas. We will be in the building, probably VIP with our quarantine mask on. The big one with the nozzles on it. <laughs> I may buy a suit. <laughs> Hell, hasn't it. So don't Yo. touch me. No, right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be in that Michael Jackson bubble. You talking about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, oh, for the kids out there that don't know about that, look that up on YouTube or something. Do you but look, do your history, right? 
Um, it's heating up. Things are definitely heating up. You know yes. what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to the homie that just uh, popped in the live. You know what I'm saying? PHG Lil Pookie was having it, bro. He gonna turn up the crowd tonight. You know what I'm saying? At the after party. You know what I'm saying? Turn up Tuesdays. You know what I'm talking about? Salute to so, my boy. You know what I'm talking about? Good. You know, yeah. we gonna review that at the end. Y'all know how we do. We always going up on the Tuesday. Oh, for sure, for sure. But, um, yeah, this is a hot topic right now. Um, You know, if all goes well, we'll all be in the building. And I agree with Jay Black. If you have not... Uh, tuned in to the the media side of this situation uh, it, a lot of people feel like we are um, maybe not belittling the battle but really not giving it the enough credit. what yeah the giving it the full credit now. I like what you said baby blue Absolutely. hit it right on the money because this something right here that's been in the making since the smack dvd era and since the two raw for the streets era which was one of the heated topics and debates on the interview that they had with uncle raw in 15 minutes of fame mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they just put, well uncle raw just put that out and my dude like it, it kind of got like who came first was it smack or was it too raw for the streets which was philly yeah it you know kind of got you uh, all research, of media y'all look into it because he, he you got to know smack a little more Mm -hmm. You know, by, by that's how we got this information as far as the MOOC situation and, and Reed. Ooh, this might be a really hot battle. You know, I don't know. This one might rival with some of the RBE battles. I mean, bro, yeah, Honestly, RBE has had a good, a good year this year when it comes to like the, the mega event. Mm -hmm. Um, I think mm -hmm. this right here is going to, especially when they're coming back out to the crowd and crap, you know, we outside. You know what I'm saying? So we trying to stay there. That roar of the crowd is gonna be something different when it comes to right, uh right. like uh read and move. Like you got old heads watching, like you got people yeah. like Black said, he you got people from the old era. So you're gonna have all the OGs of rap, like the Jada Kisses, like the locks, period. Like the diplomats. They're gonna right. be paying attention and tuned in to this battle because right. that's that's what was going on during that era. The DVD right. got the diplomats on the same some of the same DVDs that Murder Mook is rapping on. Yeah, I mean. You get what I'm saying? So now I guess tuned that's in. why I'm saying it's going to be so good because maybe not all of us knew how far back Reed's resume goes. Right. A lot of people are sleeping and, 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 and new to what's going on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And honestly, it, that comes from, you know, just new fans cycling in. And, and you know, I heard from a young person before, they really don't give a damn about the past. You know what I'm saying? That's they, if that's their attitude, right, their outlook right, on right. it, that's just, you know, I, I, I don't fully understand it, but I respect game. That's what it do. You right, know what I'm saying? But right, okay. in this time, this is the best time to go do your research about this battle because it's about to go down, bro. Like, people finna put big time bets on this battle. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it's some good narratives that are being, you know what I'm saying, uh, created with this back and forth. And it's like a respectful back and forth between mm -hmm. Reed and, and, and Moot. Right. You know what I'm saying? They because just they're both from, from strong, uh, or, or let me say, pioneering areas. Exactly. Of so you got New York and Philly. Exactly. You I, know, so yeah. if places, I would love to visit. <laughs> right. Get a little cultural background here. Yeah, for real. Um, but yes, so these, these are two heavy hitters. Is this a battle for the crown? You know what I'm saying? Because we all regard Mook as like, like they say, that's Mook. That is murder move. That's, that's, that's I mean, king. but that's Reed Dollars. And see, Reed Dollars never got that chance to show out like that. And the fact that he's gained the momentum that he's gained right now, mm -hmm. Mook is in trouble, bro. He finally got, like he said, I'm going to dethrone you, bro. This time you've been sitting in that seat for too long. He said that, bro. Yo, that's all I'm I saying. I can understand that. I can understand that being the focus. Absolutely. Yo. But Mook is Mook. Mook's not, Mook is not going I mean, to I make agree. it easy. I agree. Let's not say that. Mook is definitely going to 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 make it a fight. So, are we doing full predictions right now, or? Uh, we did or predictions we last waiting? week. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do some last minute that. predictions. You know, what I'm saying when it comes, you know, to it. Okay, but right now, we okay. definitely we could definitely go ahead and talk about this double wager shot we're gonna put on the line for this Mook so, versus Reed Dollars. You know what I'm talking about? Do you feel it will be a gentleman's thirty? Oh hell no. Okay. Let's no. Just be real. Not and at talk all. about it. No gentleman's thirty. Okay. Reed okay. dollars is too. If it's a like, let me say this: Mook has the capability to do it, but Reed dollars is just not. I, I don't feel like he will allow he that to happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, it, it's, 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 it's he's hungry. I see that. You get what I'm saying? You this can one see of that those, from his past show right. recently. See, see Mook already good where he at, but if Reed pulls off a convincing, solid two-one win. Against Murder Mook, mm -hmm. you talking now? 
he he has solidified himself from his era to this era. See, and I you guess, what I'm saying? Okay, talking about this, we are having to understand and implement reality in real time. How are these how are these battles being judged? How what what is it based off of? Well, unfortunately for us, because two of both of these battlers are coming from the, the essence of it, the streets. Right. The small rooms always. You know right. what I'm saying? The circle around you type thing. You know what I'm saying? So caffeine ain't ain't is this this caffeine, right? It's gonna right. be caffeine. They not abreast to that or not. They're not. It's possible some of these bars gonna whoop. Well the thing is we back outside. And now now we lopsided on we who back actually outside, won. Though. We back outside in Houston. Gonna, this, we back well that's outside true. Houston. That's true. The setting is different. The, crap, 2, the people. setting is different. You know what I'm that's saying? So, true. I like where you're going with it because true. Is Mook ready for that? He's been battling where it's, it's been maybe 50 people in a room, 100 people in a room, maybe 10 or 20. Lately, you get what I'm saying? Reed Dollars, he battled uh, before COVID, he battled. Um, he didn't battle Tay Rock. He battled uh. No, it was who he battled. K. Shine. He battled K. Shine in Philly. You know what I'm saying? He, he. So what I'm saying is, he's a little more seasoned right now, because he's still battling from then. He's been battling since then. See what I feel like a lot of the BRC get twisted when they come to Mook. Mook gonna be Mook. Mook is good in any setting, any That's room. facts. We can't play my That's brother like, oh, over here he's not gonna be a good Mook. Yeah. It, it's what he puts into it. It, it may be a hell of a round full of content, full of all type of information. You hear me? But if it went over your head and you made you think and now right. you done missed two bars, you get what I'm saying? That's that's how I move get because he spit. He he telling the story. He's still going. He don't care if you caught it at this point. That's you heard, fact. you better catch up. Mook going to be Mook. Mook in any be damn Mook, room. But Reed Period. has an opportunity. And like I he said, does. not... So, so let me rephrase what I was saying a while ago. Mm -hmm. It's not that he has to solidify. He's already solidified. What I'm saying is mm -hmm. he's going to solidify the fact that we should have, I should have been had this opportunity. Now, I agree I'm with this. I'm going to smoke this dude. It took this long, and now you finally give it to me. He's not yeah, just going to just go through it. He's not going to spit the same that. bars he was spitting against John John or Chess like that. He's not going to see that. He, this, this level of, of competition is what he's been waiting for. Right. To what elevate he, what he feel you know as if he's deserved, Reed. like you said. Right. Almost old. And if he beats <laughs> you know? Mook, he, that proves he's the better rapper from that era and now. I, I, what? That's like a, a that's that's like the master chef fucking trophy <laughs> for battle rap. For battle, like cause you gotta think, <laughs> I will beat you right now in, yes. our, in a time where, and I couldn't get to you then. Yeah, so this shows how they, good I, they had their little you know shots and subliminals back then. Yeah, fast. you know, all the way through the journey, but okay, long that. time coming. Very ready to see this. Overly ready to see this. Let's light it up. Like he said, man, let's let, let, let's give Houston what we what we looking for. What we looking Got for. Got the best really? crowd. Texas so take gets two down. Shots on the line? Yes, but yeah. Who you going for though? Oh. I'm not saying nothing until we get closer. I, I, I'm a firm believer in key know what you're saying before you say it. And I don't want to say it yet. I will let you know after you my birthday. <laughs> That's close. Yeah. Once we get past Labor Day, I'll let you know. Let me sleep on it. That's cool. Let me Battle sleep on it. Let me drink on it. September 25th. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Live in Houston, time. Texas. Just get your time. tickets. URL yes. TV. Summer Madness Olympics. Absolutely. Main event, Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Um, right now, I want to see Reed win this. Mm -hmm. You know, when people get those big opportunities, especially as an underdog, I want to see him win. But my, my smart money right now going on Mook. You know what I'm saying? Right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get those final predictions as we get close. Mook is fired up. Yeah. I like it. And I hope he stay that way and, and focus. A focus fired up Mook is unstoppable. That's facts. And y'all hate to see him. Y'all seen him against right. Tay Rock. I mean, fired up. You know what I'm talking about? He can do it. But uh, speaking yeah. of the vets and elites, uh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, What's going we down? have a few coming down to Texas very soon. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? September 12th is going down the Culture Battle League. Capital punishment. Now, uh, that's a heavy you call. Go ahead and bring up that uh, flyer for me. That's a heavy call. It's right a there. heavy, heavy card. The main My event goodness. is A Ward versus Luke Castro. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Look, it's I'm gonna say it like this. Iceberg production. This is one of the first times, like, 
that I've seen personally. Me, I might have missed it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like when I start to see cars like this. When we right. got two outside vets mm-hmm. or mid tiers coming down to where we at yes and battling it out yes they're not even from texas but they're gonna battle here because we want to see how they fare here against each other right y'all always in new york or cali when it comes to that type of energy right to bring that a war versus luke castro to texas is something monumental yeah you know what i'm saying I, I, I agree with it and yeah. here we go with those opportunities you know, again, as a, as an onlooker, as as a goer, we'll as a tonight. lover of battle rap, um, guys, take these opportunities as a once in a lifetime type of situation. You only you only can book certain names, certain people, only so many times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that cost. So let's get on this stage and let's show them what they have been booked for. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So there we'll start at the bottom of the car, but that was the main event. Yes. Um, we definitely got some legends coming through. We definitely got some mid-tier breakout stars from URL TV coming through. Yes. Uh, we're going to start with Emperor T versus Emerson Kennedy. Wow. Now, this is a play for Emperor T. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He's been yes. making his rounds lately. Oh, yes, he has. Yes, yes he, he has. has. I was going to say, well, I don't think we've gotten to see him right. in person. No. Not yet. Not in person. Emerson, we were we were granted that opportunity. Yes. Thank and he you. did his thing. He did. And, and I'd like to see him on the stage again. Come prepared. Last time right. Texas gave you a run for your money. Yeah, we did. Now, now the thing about it is, has Emerson been sitting on bars since he started this commentating? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Has um, he been uh, stockpiling? Real, like, right. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm trying to figure Maybe out. So. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how this battle gonna go because right. you got Emperor T, who's oh my, you know he hungry to <laughs> kill. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn Emerson Kennedy, like I mean, that's yeah, a play. that's a play. You show out right against right Emerson there. Kennedy, you, bro. You, know, you got scouts looking like okay. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's you going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know I know. With that being said, but then you got Emerson, who, like I said, I mean, bro, very seasoned, very poor. Absolutely. You know, what lyrical. What I'm Penmanship. Right. Come on. And then he, he, he got been it. sitting out kind of like he ain't had no real major battles to take his focus. Mm-hmm. He's been commentating. He's been active. See, as long as you active, mm, them bars is and there. He's the been creating bars. Your current, them current bars can yeah. hit you every time. So I don't know how to call that yeah, one, man. Like, one. I don't know. I'm Are we giving the full whole predictions? Team. Yeah, we're giving full predictions oh. right now. It's going down September 12th. You know what I'm saying? Emperor T, blind, I got him uh, with a 21. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to say this all. Uh, three rounds. I think this out. Okay, yeah. bet I was going Emperor T myself. Two. Excuse me, everybody. Oh, excuse me, the live. Oh, Last time he couldn't stop filling me up. Now I have nothing in my cup. Shoot, I'm still working on my first it's today. Goddamn, slow, slow down. Oh, slow oh, day, yeah. God damn. we focused it. I'm so. Oh, shit. I'm so. Oh, let me get. Let me get you. Let me get you some refilling. <laughs> oh, yeah. going. What are we doing? But I got Emperor T two one on one with the whole team. Right. Three unanimous. But Daffy Green, what? What? I said that. I said that. Like that's what I mean. That, that this bringing the outside talent. Yes. We want to see that in Texas, yes. man. Yes. Thank y'all, man. Salute. Appreciate y'all doing this. You know what I'm saying? The culture. But Daffy Green versus Foolish Carlito. And then they put him against Foolish Carlito. Like this, y'all just want some explosive shit to go down. Y'all just want something crazy to go down, like bar wise. Like y'all just want some. Some shit that are just niggas just running around, dropping their drinks, pushing <laughs> each other off stage because the bar is just so fire. That's the type of battle that's going to be. Right. What? Right. Uh, I don't even know who to pick. I'm a fan of Badafi Green, but I'm rocking with the home team, man. Foolish Carlito, two women. man. What's up? Uh, looks like we're unanimous today. So far, I was going foolish myself. Man, bro, for real, for real. I, y'all don't have us drinking, man. Hey. I'm taking a shot for every single one of these. What about that? What about that? This could be your time to shine. What about that? Let's do it. Let's shine. Please shine. Let's put these bars. Before we be Let drunk, it. before we walk Let's out the event. Say. <laughs> Take it seriously. For real. Prepare. <laughs> Right. Y'all see us over there in the corner, Steam. staggering, trying to get it together because y'all <laughs> over here losing battles. Nah, hold on. But all jokes aside, mm-hmm. Foolish Carlito with the 21. Mm-hmm. Then you bring in Moon right. versus Mac Da Vinci. Right. Oh. We've had the opportunity to see Moon as well. You know, seeing you guys up close is it's definitely a different experience yeah, than seeing man. it on 
you know, online or playback. It, it's, it's cool, but that that up close feel is, is a different situation. Bro, that shit crazy. And uh, Moon Moon is a heavy hitter. Moon is very He's heavy hitting. A vet you got the OG, style. OG, yeah. Oh my god, salute OG to Moon style. versus OG Percy, bro. That shit was a battle. You know what I'm saying? Live that from the block, y'all got gotcha. y'all one with their classic man. Salute to Osama. That was classic. So to see him yeah. back in Texas, I can only imagine what he's gonna do against Mac Da Vinci. Yeah, Although, Mac Da Vinci's a good. I was say he ain't finna Mac Da Vinci got there. He get a moon fuck around, get sent packing home early. Got there, Mac Da Vinci ain't playing, bro. I'm rolling with the home team again. Home team. Home team. Mac Da Vinci. Two Texas, one. Texas, take it, take it seriously. Get up there and spit the bars. And understand what this means. You know what I'm saying? Don't think of this as anything other than the fact that this person is in your yard. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? You know I, I'm definitely unanimous. Definitely going back to bitch. All right, now, uh, Seal yeah. versus KO. I'm not sure if I seen either. Either one of them. You know, we're gonna be honest about that one. Like, I don't think that's, so. that's, that's, see, that's, we gonna keep it real with y'all. We're not gonna sit up here and just lie about it like we've seen some. I, you know, I haven't seen either one of these guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm eager to see what they do. Maybe no shot for them. No shot for them. So we can just be fair in that sense. And, you know, we'll talk about it after. We'll but the winner that. can get a free interview. Hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, free interview? We're doing that shit anyway. I know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Constellation Prize. Yeah, natural thing. Yeah, natural, natural thing. thing. <laughs> um, but next. Uh, Darth Hemi versus Lex Luthor. Mm. Now, I don't know who Darth Hemi is. Right. I might be asleep on that. I'm going to have to do my research on those, these uh, Seal, uh, who is it, KO, and Darth Hemi. We definitely going to have to do our research on y'all. Lex Luthor, though, we know he a fool with it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Our Battle League uh, owner, you know what I'm saying? So salute to him as well. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. Salute to everybody that's pulling up to the uh, live. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. Uh, drop a comment, you know what I'm saying? Let us know what you know how y'all feel about these battles. We talking about capital punishment, yes. you know what I'm saying? The culture. And yes. right now we are on Darth Hemi versus uh, Lex Luthor. Is that a three behind that capital punishment? It's, oh, that is three. Oh, so this is capital punishment three. Yo, thank you. Baby Blue. You about research. Hey, what would I do without baby blue, y'all? I'll be out here fucking up everything. Research is, is capital is, punishment. Look, that's a three. three. All Number right, three guys. Know your do events. your research. So when you're We're gonna, gonna get go your tickets and shit. You make sure to put the three in. Or you're gonna go to an event that already happened two years ago. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Listening <laughs> to Blue, yeah. You're like, oh, first? This is the first one. Right. Uh, nah, they on corporal punishment. Right. We, we, right, corporal? It <laughs> we just stepped it up a notch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But um, I got Lex Luthor. It's a one Lex Luthor. Come on, man. I don't know how we this unanimous. I don't you know who Darth Hemi is. Think we no shot on this, so it ain't nothing like, you know what I'm saying? If Darth Hemi comes through and smoke this dude, that's what right happened. Right that's, that's I got Lex myself. Two one. All right. On. JDK versus Chilla Jones. Now, Ooh, last good. time, <laughs> Trebo had Chilla Jones. Yep. JDK had Swamp. Yep, yep. This time, yeah. JDK gets a shot. At, at the big homie. At the big homie. Chilla. JDK was fooling. He had an excellent showing at the Kushi. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? On the first round. Fire. So yes, he did, yeah. I hope he bring that same energy. I do too. You know I'm rolling with the home team. We got a shot on the line. JDK, you know this is Chilla Jones. Don't have us drinking, bro. Come on, bro. I need you to bring your AAA game. Don't you have him drinking. I'm like, going to Chilla like, Jones. Like, bro, like, you need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, the gladiators used to do, bro. No drinking, no smoking. <laughs> No partying, none of that, like, you know what I'm saying? Tell your girl, chill out right now. We got to goddamn get some writing. I need you to write. Even uh, though none of that works for me. So he you, does need you to write. Either do the total opposite or yeah. do the, do what works for you. Just make this shit happen. I'm going chill a 2-1. That shit don't work for me either, uh, y'all. That shit don't work for me. I'm going chill a 2-1. Oh, my God. <laughs> he finally heard it. I've been saying it. I, he needs you to do right, my brother. Chilla may not come to play with you, sir. I'm a little had that one, bro. I usually get all upset and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you she took your glasses off. She got that one this time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She want to go chill with Jones. She don't want to roll with the home team today. You know what I'm saying? Look, nah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no U-turns on the block, man. Nah, you know, ain't no switching up when hey, it comes to the day of now. Look, I break rules. When JDK come through there and flame that boy. You know what I'm saying? He break rules. He finna <laughs> smoke, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mean? Like, rules are meant to be broken. That's why they made them. Uh, okay, man. So Z versus Jack Boy Man. <laughs> now listen, Jack Boy. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm sending this to you personally. 
I love the fact that you, you know what I'm saying, have picked up the pieces since you came from Houston. Yes. And uh, I like the fact that you are back yourself. You know what I'm saying? I like what you've been doing lately. I agree. But please don't come down here on that rah-rah shit, bro. And nobody, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why you were trying to fight people in the crowd and shit <laughs> last time. <laughs> it was John John fault. You should have beat him up. <laughs> you know what I'm it saying? What our fault, bro? We was the Texas crowd. <laughs> We was rocking with you. Nah, we just Hell, we was trying you, to find who you was trying to fight. We didn't right. get it. We was like, well, we was going to fight with you. Yeah, like, well, who, who, who just you can start saying it was yeah. us. We real killers in Houston, so it can't be us. We don't just yeah. play. Nah, for real, for real. <laughs> nah, but, but on the cool, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm excited hand. that Jack Boy is back, yes. to, back in uh, uh, Texas. Honestly, um, this one here is going to be a fight. Because the way Jack Boy been spitting in Sozy does not back down from shit. No, he doesn't like, back down. For real. Like, Sozy coming up But just because you swinging. don't back down don't mean you ain't lumped up. No, you're not going you against can be really lumped the whole up. team again. Who you got? Let me tell y'all something about this whole team. Oh, my God. Every time I go with y'all, y'all disappoint me. That's a fact, though. I be sitting over there drunk as a Not very boy. much so all the time. But a lot of times, I'm going with my, my home team, my ride or die. Y'all ain't riding and dying for me up there. I'm dying yeah. back here. I'm going with who I know. And Jack Boy not finna play with y'all. Uh, He's back. <laughs> he wants y'all. Kids, who's back? He wants uh, y'all to know. Okay. Jack Boy, you my man's and Jack all. Jack like, Boy I is, with you, bro. is going I to come give us a show. Since you bust the damn lights out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bust them out. Mama said be home by. You know what I'm saying? The lights off. I mean, well, you know, lights come on. You know, you get the bar. You go it. You get it. But what <laughs> I'm saying is. Bar. I always been a fan since then, bro. It's still a fan now, but I'm sorry, bro. I mean, you coming to Texas? I got to represent, man. Sozy, don't have me drinking, bro. Don't have me drinking. I got a shot on the line. I don't want to see Jack Boy laughing at me on there because I'm over there drunk and shit. And he laughed like, yeah, nigga. I talk. You should listen to your girl, nigga. And nah, I fuck all that, bro. Listen, Sozy, I'm gonna make you drink the shot. I can't be drinking all these shots if y'all gonna keep. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's now your shit. responsibility. Guys. Now your responsibility. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know how much money I would have lost mm -mm. if I was betting money? Yeah, because I don't what? bet my own. Mm -mm. Anyway, that's my little rant. <laughs> but Jack Boy versus Sozy. That's going to be a fire battle. That is very impactful. I'm not mad at Baby Blue for uh, picking Jack Boy, man. I got Sozy, though. 2-1. Jack Boy 2-1. Let's move yeah. on. Trey Bo. Lord Trey Bo. Trey Bo yes. versus Marv 1. Yes. Now... For those of y'all who don't know, I don't know how you don't know. Marv One is a super legend. Uh, he battled Eminem on the movie set of Eight Mile. Uh, hello, that's big. Like, like, bro, slow down, yo, relax. Understand right? what's going on. Understand here. what's going okay. on here. So you move from you. Chilla Jones to Marv One. Like, yo, Trayvon, you talk about me with the chain. That's about to see you talking about me, bro. Your bag big. Got the what? What? We already know talent is one thing in this business. Right. But my bro, there's the this a big ass plate. Absolutely. Now, if you smoke this man, mm -hmm. which I'm going to be honest, Trebo, I, I highly doubt you smoke him like 3 0. I don't think that's going to happen. Right. But if you convincingly 2 1, or even if it's a one round, you convincingly beat Marv 1. You're now looking at a legendary status in Texas. Texas legend. Like, Texas legend, bro. There's nobody out here even battled the likes of somebody of Marv 1 in Texas. Well, that I know of. So put me on game if I'm fucking up. Now, even if they battled them, <laughs> they damn sure didn't win. Because it would have been everywhere by now. Mm. You hear me? Marv 1 versus Trebo. You better be going to home team. What we talking about? Tell y'all something. I don't take threats lightly. Shout out to Detroit. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Trick Trick. Marv One. Shout out to Royce. Is. Shout out to Calico. Not going to come play with our boy Trayvon. Not at all. Uh, so I am definitely ready to see this. I feel like it will be very entertaining, at times comical. I do give it to Trebo 2 1. Already. Trebo 2 1. Um, A Ward versus Lou Castro. What good. are we doing here? A Ward. What are we doing here? Gracing us with your presence. Thank you. Oh. What are we doing here? 
Who are you going? This is even playing field. You got the. It's <laughs> Luke Castro. I knew it. <laughs> like, where are we going here? <laughs> I'm strong. Wasn't he just in jail? Luke Castro? No, I hope not. Oh, that wasn't Luke Castro. That was Your Honor. Oh, damn. Yeah, Your Honor. You know, I hope everything working out with that situation. You know, I hope he's. Iceberg. I think he's out on bond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute to Your Honor. I'm glad you brought that up, man. You know, man, prayers going to be a lot going on. Because it be, you know what I'm saying? I can't. I'm, if y'all look up the situation, some people be like, oh, man, these stupid. We don't know. We don't know what was going on, bro. Right. We don't you know have an, a so. clue. But that wasn't him. So, um, yeah. Uh, who I'm going with? Yeah. Luke Castro. What's up? You going Luke Castro? No, I'm asking oh. who you going, man. I, I'm going. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to know. <laughs> Um, I'm going A Ward to one. I, I can I can agree with that, but I I don't know. I feel like Luke Castro wants to put on the show. Oh well, you know he what I'm saying? Like he's gonna come to you know what I'm saying? He can do uh, that. Austin and really you know what I'm saying wreck some. I feel like this this is one of those ones where A Ward might not or he might underestimate his opponent. Mm. And and I hope A Ward sees this. I hope Luke Castro sees this so they really can okay see what type of crap because we're prepare watching texas. yeah prepare for texas bro mm -hmm. prepare for that energy right. prepare for that weed smoke prefer <laughs> prepare for that drinkage and the slur in our right. uh pause no. <laughs> lord our slang our slang thank you at the pause it was so pause worthy i new york myself yeah man you know what i didn't really realize new york had been pausing for like that they've been doing that for a while bro like Mm. Oh wow! Like since we were little, I ain't know. You know, we, we ain't from there, so we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Right. We thought that was something new. Last ten years or something, they've been doing it. Right. Know? Right. But A Ward, Luke, uh, yeah, A Ward, Luke Castro. I, I don't know. Luke Castro to me, being in this environment, I think he might fare better because A Ward. A Ward always finds a way to win. That's the problem where I feel like Luke Castro is going to find himself having to climb an uphill battle. Mm -hmm. A Ward with his rebuttals, no matter if you got him with, with your written, mm -hmm. he finds a way to win with those rebuttals. So I would, I'd be inclined to say that, yes, I would go with Baby Blue's pick. 2-1, A Ward. I'm with that. That's that veteran experience is what it does for you. Yeah, that's a fact. You know how to get in, and no matter what block may be there, you get around it. And you make it to the home room. Simple as that. Yeah, man. Y'all know how we get down, man. It's the bar room, man. We're going to go ahead and get into our uh, second video of the day. And this one is the new Meek Mill. Yes, it is. Freestyle. Mandela Freestyle. Let's get into it. Feels like it. Hey, y'all know what time it is. We back. Hey, shout out to Meek Mill. Man, for real. You know, good to hear from him. Yeah, man. I, I, I like when we focus on lyrics sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about the... Uh, it, it it ain't all about the play play let me right. say that because too much we put the label party on it and mm -hmm. that's not the case we can have lyrical and party at the same time it's right. the play play the dumb music the, the stupid i don't know what i'm talking about putting words together and just running with it right. you know what i'm saying like i think it's no really direction. time out yeah the no direction mm -hmm. you know it's time out for that type of rap we need direction you know what I'm saying? Kind of like me. I need directions. <laughs> you done knocked over the mic. <laughs> I need instructions on how to maneuver. Not knock I'm this mic, mic over. over. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, nah, but on the cool, yeah. man, honestly, this this has been a uh, fun field Battle Rap Tuesday. I really like it because, like, after we leave here, I'm still going to be talking about this murder mook and yeah, read dollars. Don't talk about dollars. This shit is uh, kind of like Meek Mill last track. It's impactful. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's full of substance mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like who did come first right. was it smack was it too right. uh, raw for the streets right. you know what i'm saying like the impact of philly and they they uh, uh their culture right. that they have out here right man, the impact that it's had on the game oh my god like what yeah so it's very impactful i agree we, we definitely all need to just see understand what this is that we're going to experience and witness exactly some of these battles really have true meaning behind them so. i totally agree um y'all know what it is tonight man it's definitely going up the after party at turn up tuesdays one love lounge blue and baby blue the bar room will be in the building uh, of course distributor will be hosting so it's definitely gonna be live in that thing yeah. and giving away 250 uh dollars lord offers at 250 
Don't worry about what my bank cat is. <laughs> I know how I'm my bank. I'm thinking about my Boy, money. <laughs> he's now, they give away $250. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> right. let me clarify that. They ain't giving no record deals. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> right. you definitely can go get you a bag, you know what I'm saying, if you got the best performance. You know what I'm saying? They for real about that paper. So uh, make sure to come up there and show out. It ain't too late to sign up. Holler at Distributor, Cash Level. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, Dallas uh, at night parties. You know what I'm saying? And also... Uh, we definitely going to be out no. tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yes, up Wednesday. Wet and Wild Wednesdays. Hey, it's going to be lit. The Chocolate Lounge. Chocolate oh, Lounge. Exclusive. Make sure to pull or up today. Or is it Ultra called Chocolate Lounge? What is it? Uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's the ultra. one off Botham John, guys. In it's Dallas, Ultra. Dallas, Dallas. It's two different ultra ones. Ultra I know. Chocolate it's two different Lounge. Ones. Exclusive. Chocolate Lounge exclusive. Well, no. It's the bomb one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? down. We do have an upcoming uh, event. Yes, we do. Uh, next week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we'll have a special guest in here to talk about it next week. Uh, classic or Casket. Yes. Yup. Chef Trez versus Hero. Yep. Then we also got Haynes versus Scotty and among a bunch of other top-notch battles. So, make sure to pull up if you're in the city of Dallas, Texas. Yes. That's going to go out the Show way down. Sure. Shout out to all of our supporters, fans, artists who interact with us. We do appreciate you. Shop with us. Like, post, share music, blogs. Hey. We all we got. It is free to support. That's a fact. <laughs> Blue, you got anything you want to leave the people? Hey, y'all, be on the lookout. The video will be dropping soon. Very soon. Just want to put that out there. We got a couple You'll of previews. We'll be seeing it we'll everywhere. <laughs> uh, we, gonna, we got a lot of stuff going, y'all. Yes, we um, try to get it all. Right. Interact, man. Like, some of y'all shy. Like, I know there's a lot of us that's out here that's, that's busy and shit, but some of my fans, I know y'all be wanting to interact, man. We, we ain't hard to find. Interact. Uh, pull up to us at the Battle Rap. Uh, no, I'm sorry, the uh, Turn Up Tuesdays. Have a drink with us, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, uh, step outside, get your interviews, all the artists. Like, let's start linking up and make this happen. The city is hot, so we want to keep the eye on us. You know what I'm saying? Especially at, our good talent out here. Or at uh, battle events. If y'all see us at the battle yeah, events, definitely holler at us. Sometimes we be so focused, we don't be talking to everybody. <laughs> we doing better. We are not the type to just be all in y'all face. We try to get what we know is key to that behind the scenes what we trying to give a feel to our crowd how the barroom see it how we see it. how we see it how we experience it you know what i'm saying but definitely crank up some music check out all the artists again if you want your videos aired please hit us up on the barroom group Thanks. at gmail.com um also we can put the music on our bar barroom spotify playlist mm -hmm. send it over for sure for sure shout out cat her usual. Always, man. The best engineer in the world. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Thank if you don't you. got cat on your team, I don't know who you got. It's like, uh, what is it? what's in your wallet? Well, <laughs> who's your engineer? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <laughs> man, salute to everybody watching. As always, it's Battle Rap Tuesdays. The Ballroom. It's all bars all day. Yeah.